In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the derivative of a few common trigonometric functions that you'll see on a typical homework problem or if you're studying for a test. So let's start with this example problem. What is the derivative of sine of 2x? Here's what you could do to find the answer. First, find the derivative of sine. The derivative of sine is cosine. Now the angle inside of sine will be the same angle of cosine. Next, work your way towards the inside. What is the derivative of 2x? The derivative of 2x is 2. So you could simply write the final answer as 2 cosine 2x. So that's the derivative of sine 2x. Now let's move on to the next problem. What is the derivative of tangent 3x? Feel free to try that problem, and while you're working on that, I'm going to write another one. Find the derivative of cosine 4x. So let's start with the first one. First, we need to find the derivative of tangent. The derivative of tangent is secant squared, and the angle is going to be the same. Whatever you see inside here, that needs to go in there. Next, we need to find the derivative of the inside function, 3x. The derivative of 3x is 3. So the answer is going to be 3 secant squared 3x. Now, let's move on to the next example. What is the derivative of cosine? The derivative of cosine is negative sine. We're going to keep the angle the same. And then the derivative of 4x is 4. So the final answer is negative 4 sine 4x. Now let's work on some harder problems. Let's say we want to find the derivative of sine squared of 2x. How can we do so? What would you recommend that we do in this problem? The first thing that I would recommend doing is rewriting the problem like this. This expression is equal to sine of 2x raised to the second power. In order to differentiate that expression, we need to work with the outside function, more specifically the exponents. So when you differentiate x squared, it becomes 2x to the first power. We're going to do something similar here. So we're going to move the 2 to the front. We're going to keep the inside part the same. So we're going to rewrite sine of 2x. And then we're going to subtract the exponent by 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Next, we can work our way towards the inside. The derivative of sine is cosine. And the derivative of 2x is 2. So the final answer is 4 sine 2x cosine. 2x. One problem that I wanted to give before that was this one. The derivative of sine squared of x. But now that you know how to do the previous one, you can certainly do this one. So just like before, I would recommend moving the exponent to the outside. It makes the whole problem a lot easier. So we're going to move it to the front. We're going to have 2. And then we're going to keep the inside part the same. Subtract the exponent by 1. So it's 2 sine raised to the first power. And then we're going to take the derivative of the inside function, which is cosine. Now, 2 sine x cosine x is also equal to sine 2x. It's a double angle formula. So you can write your final answer like this if you want. Or you could leave it like this. Now, what about this problem? What is the derivative of sine of tangent x squared? Go ahead and try that. So we're going to begin by differentiating sine. The derivative of sine is cosine. And whatever is inside of sine, that's going to be inside of cosine. Now, let's move on to the next one. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. 
And the angle of tangent is x squared, so the angle of secant squared will be x squared. Next, let's work our way in. The derivative of x squared is 2x. And so that is the answer to the problem, which we can write as 2x cosine of tangent x squared times secant squared x squared.